guys, getting up early in the morning and doing an application at this time in the morning might seem a little crazy, but when you're a lawny, dedication is a must, especially when the high temperatures and high winds that plague my area are apparent. Plus, I've also got to work during the day, so I can't do these applications at normal times. So what I'm doing here is I'm glyphosating the oval, and you can see the big task that is ahead of me. Let's get your lawn on. Well, yes, the oval, it's kind of big. It's a very, very big project. It kind of is, but it kind of isn't. Once you get out there, 4,000 square metres for an oval anyway, it's quite a small oval. It's not so bad once you get into it. This week, basically, I've been glyphosating uh, the weeds that are out there to make them die off. The idea is we want as much to die off as we can get, and then we're going to be putting some soil down nice and rich it's going to do really really well ground out there's not too bad actually it's nice and sandy for about a good 50 millimeters it's fairly decent then it goes to really slaty and rock hard but that's to be expected for the area every it's always like that around here at port augusta it's going to look really really nice i'm really excited for it so i'm just waiting on the hire of the equipment and uh wacky do that's going to be there Okay, let's look at the week that was. It's not just about the oval, it's about all the other areas as well that I look after at the school. On the same day as the oval, I did a 15mm cut of the senior area. Here comes Dad, the, the lawnmower fan. It's quite a hike from the storage area to the mowing area, so I hope down the track that the school invests in a bit of a shed for me. You might have to move that, yes. Yeah. As you can see, there's lots of leaves here. Yeah. Lots of leaves here guys, yeah. and up to hold them, and that's my parker. It was a fair bit windy by the time I got to this mow, but uh, doing this mow I also picked up a fair bit of leaves, but it was kind of messy, And uh, but I got it done, that's the main thing. See what we got? Yeah. It's not very much, so we're controlling our growth, that's good. Use of the plant growth regulator is really saving our bacon at the moment. It's really controlling that growth, so it's not going too long between mows. And clippings are down, and look, the sward quality has improved. All right, let's get this in the bin. Oh my gosh, this is a sneezing pop. That's you. The mow master is doing really well in this area, and the mows are just getting better. Putting it in our book. See, I was here at 4 a.m. Did the oval. Now 7 p.m. I did my of senior area 15 millimeters. All right, let's go. Let's go. All right, it's the 11th. February and I'm very excited for having a launch application finally. So there's no wind this morning. It is going to be 32 today but it's 8 o'clock in the morning and the temperature is 18 degrees at the moment. So I'm going to do this now. It won't be a problem. Put in half the amount of water that we have. I'm not treading 160 metres squared today being the senior area. The area's had a couple of foliar applications so it is used to foliar feeding. However, I'm not going to be going the full dose of launch uh, today. I'm just going to be doing uh, 100 mils per the 160 square meters. So sort of a medium dose, simply because this is the first time that the lawn will be getting a launch root builder mix. And I'm also putting a 100 mil root builder. So 100 mil launch, 100 mil root builder in 160 square meters of lawn. So I'll put in my launch. And I put in my root builder. Put in the rest of my water. Make sure that's an agitate and start agitating. Put your on. I'm just doing a medium application of launch and root builder simply because the area is now starting to stress with the traffic. Um, it's high heat and I've got it on a uh, lower water cycle. So really need launch and root builder to just build the condition of the lawn. Launch is a, 
balanced MPK to give you a nice balanced growth. It's also got kelp to uh, help the root system and I'm helping that root system along a little bit better with also adding root builder. Which is okay, we're out at the senior area now. It's had a couple of weeks of use, lots of uh, traffic on it with the students at recess and lunch time. They're really enjoying the area, they're playing football on here, they're running a mark, it's all good. I've got the water reduced, but the heat has still been really hot. Like yesterday it was 41, so starting to show stress in a few areas already. So let's take a look at that. And as you can see, as you can see here, it's looking a bit dry, a bit fuzzy, a bit brown. And yes, I'm getting a bit lazy in the sense of that uh, I'm not picking up the leaves before this application, but I'm on a lick and a promise today. Uh, we've got a new water park opened here at Port Augusta and Heidi's pretty keen to go. So yeah, I'm on a, on a promise there. All right, let's get stuck into this application. Launch uh, 100 mils, root builder 100 mils, you know, following the program. Uh, but it's a medium application because I've got 160 square meters here. Woohoo! Let's do it. days a week to three days a week here just an hour in the morning and doing that because of the high heat and just uh, letting this area just adjust to the temperatures and the pressures that it has okay the lawn next to the gym area I haven't made that all week and that's kind of on purpose because I've got some mowers that I've got to review so I'm gonna come here tomorrow and uh, film that I've got some stuff from ego and some green work so look out for that in future videos I'm going to be putting down launch and root builder 500 mils of each per the 650 square meters so keeping to that medium uh, strength theme so let's go Do you remember the bit uh, that I traded with the bow and arrow? Uh, I think it was around about the 8th of February. I can't remember exactly. It was that uh, stuff that uh, was all over the place. Look what it's done. Let's completely wipe that out. There's a few hanging on there. And look at that. It's completely gone now. But it's done really well. Uh, bow and arrow, it's killer, literally. Well, I've got a bit of time up my sleeve, so I am able to do a mow out the front with the Greenworks uh, Z-Turn. The front area has no inputs, and you can see it's really hanging for a feed, so we've got to get to that. If you're liking the action here on Lawn Porn and you're getting something from these vids, be sure to like and subscribe, that really helps me grow. And be sure to hit that bell notification to be notified when I actually drop a vid. Look, I'm doing lots and lots of stuff and trying to give you the best information and share everything that I'm doing here at the Oval. This is why I've really got into doing a diary and a communication board. So hopefully that will really help you out as well. I know from the grounds person feedback that it's really helping him. Now, this oval is just going to be absolutely magnificent fun to do. I can't wait to do it. I've really enjoyed getting the other areas up to scratch and looking really good. And look, it's hard work. So it's going to be quite a process, but I'm really looking forward to the challenge. Mm -hmm. 